turn on the mic. Sorry, I did not turn on the mic this entire time. Um, thanks for letting me know, Andrew. I was just talking to myself this entire time. So I'm looking at building a Nubia Angel budget deck. Um, trying to do something a little bit different and putting together some strategy that might work with that. But one of the big concerns I'm running into is the fact that I don't know if Angels is going to work on a budget. I mean, make the exception that you're running Angel. Uh, what other commons and uncommons can you run with the Angel to make the deck work? But like Chrono Walker is such a big uh, aspect of this deck. Hmm. What would you run in a budget Angel deck? You can only the only rare you can run is Angel, and then outside of that you're looking at commons and uncommons. River Nye seems to be a big, big proponent into that deck. Very, very solid card. It's either River Nye or Breath of Jailara. I don't think I would run both. Uh, and I think part of that's going to come down to what uh, other summons I'm running. So I'm looking at my summon line here, here. <coughs> Spells, alterations, spell, spell, I guess we'll put techniques and alterations into the same line. I was looking at shutdown. Not control per se, but I'm, I'm just trying to, like basically what I'm trying to think about is my next deck tech that I'm doing later this week, uh, that article. And the thing I'm looking at is, um, I wanted to build a Nubia deck tech, uh, so I I always start with a common uncommon version of it, a budget popper type of version of the deck. Uh, I think Subjugation Strike helps a lot with that. Tsunami helps a lot. Like when I try to make a popper budget version, I'm not trying to run more than six copies of any uncommon, usually no rares or very low number of rares. Um, where's shutdown? Shutdown should be over here somewhere. Martial training, martial sentry, sadistic illusion. There's a shutdown. Okay. This, this, and this will help. This and this. That's pretty good, but. I don't know if those are necessary per se. That could help quite a bit. Just to get me out of a bind and give me a good uh, option. Take that out. These two are just such safe choices like shut down and pressure point. But it's just, I don't know how I feel about them. I guess if I'm not running any sevens. And it's fine. Because then I can go two, three, and that gives me two angels. One, two, three. That gives me two angels. Um, no, I want to run three angels. So let's run sub strike there. And two sub strikes like that. And then we'll run another pressure point. I guess a mine reading would be good. Like two mine readings. Mining readings used to be so OP and like no one runs them anymore. It's really weird. Get that out of here. So what would be Chrono Walkers, I'm gonna turn into Tarantulas.
Okay, how many does that give us? 39. That's 40. Um, That many river knives. Because they're good, but I think that I don't have enough summons to take enough advantage of them. See, normally, Subjugation Strike here would be replaced by more angels. So then you're running six angels, but it being a budget deck, I'm trying to limit that. Um, I only have spot for two more cards. What I'm gonna do is let's pull out my normal angel deck, or not my angel deck, the one that won the circuit tournament. Drop that over there and see if we can draw on in some inspiration. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Kabus, I don't care for Kabus. It's a good card, but it's just uh, with no rares again. Oh, dedicated studies. I'm not even running dedicated. So maybe pull two of these to put in two dedicated four and that puts me seven chi under but if I pull out two river nice then I can put in a six or a seven chi card how many points does that leave me with 15 points it seems really off So this grouping of six balances this group six. This group of five is balancing this group of five. Yeah, this is self-balancing. River nice. Yeah, I should be able to put in two sixes. Four. That's. Oh, River Knight's a four G. They're not even five G. That's why I'm so off. Um. Yeah, so then I would look at Angels. Um, there's nothing in Bellum that heals an ally, does it? Not directly. So then let's... Um, put in one of those. That's balanced off by that. And then... Let's get rid of these to put in more dedicated and then another 6G. Some subtle evasion I think will be useful. It's not super necessary, but I like it. So we're at 49 cards with 5 points remaining. Yeah, we are. And another tsunami it is. I think that works. And that's five dedicated studies. Seems like a pretty reasonable build. Would you consider this a budget version of this deck? take a screenshot of this. Snipping tool. Alright. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now, let's do the fun part of 
upgrading this deck if you were to get like the ideal version of playing with it. Now, first thing I would look for is Chrono Walker. It's such a great value add card. If you're not running Chrono Walker, that's that's just a challenge. <laughs> Always run the Chrono Walkers. <clears throat> Okay, so Welcome to Jailer. I like using the Welcome to Jailer art, not because it's strictly better. Um, they both have their own flair, of which one you like more or less. But I like this one just because it's uh, newer. <laughs> so let's get rid of... Ooh. No, that's the thing. So first off, these smoke bombs would definitely turn into Chrono Walkers. Uh, would I replace these? Yeah, it makes sense to just replace these with Colonel Walkers. I would replace these with more angels. Mm. So I like the wind slashes. Uh, let's move this one here, take out this gin, and then say I'm not running the River Nye. Instead, I'm running Wind Slashes to give me some more aggression. So stone protectors are definitely solid, but I think the stone protectors work better if you're running the River Nye angel deck compared to anything else. Where did they go? Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna run that. I do like Bolt Shot, I think it's a crazy card. Because right now, if I run out of aura, what more can I do in the game? I really can't do much. So I think getting the bolt shots is going to be very important in this build. May actually look at pulling out that angel. Because then I can pull out this pressure point. If I move a dedicated studies there, then this three can be reallocated. Um, yeah, this is where I'm looking at searching, grabbing that kibbutz. <clears throat> because let's pull this out. Um, Should I put another gin? Probably another gin. Just to make them appear more in game. I am playing Nubia though. So the draw may not be as necessary as compared to having just bodies on the table. Uh, so let's put this mine re uh, I guess no. Uh pull out here pull them like that and then where's the welcome to JLR bolt shot search Bull shot, bull shot. There we go. Let 
one point over. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's uh, divide, put these by chi. I think that will reveal some weekends that I may have. Nothing evident so far. First thing that appears is that that's not enough bolt shots. But this is the hardest part is like trying to figure out how many of each card you need, especially when there's a lot of cards to choose from. Uh, sometimes it's better to just streamline and not run so many different strategies. If you are looking at running angels during the tournament, I mean, here's an option for the deck build. Yeah, I should announce that, you know, we are doing a tournament this month, which is really exciting. Now, that's a lot of Chrono Walkers. Uh, it'll be our first one. It'll be done completely on Tabletop Simulator. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So if you have Tabletop Simulator, let, you know, consider signing up. And if you don't, let me know. And I'll also be interested in getting some people to help commentate on it. All right, so that's how the deck build's looking so far. So I think I could pull out two Chrono Walkers. Ideally, I'd want to put in two more bolt shots, but I don't have the space for that. Uh, unless I downgrade some things. So we can downgrade this. These are just so cheap. It's so hard to resist them. There's only two cabuses in the deck, eh? Hmm. Not a whole lot of threes for a deck of this style. Normally, these type of decks are running a lot of threes. Okay, let's pull out those. Put in two more of each of these. Because that's the thing, I'm looking at when my resources are low, what can I do? And there's not a whole lot. So I can bust this help with that, Bolt Shot helps with that. Wind Slash helps with that. All these things cost very, very little. Um, let's pull out one of these guys and put in another Kabus, I guess. Because that gives me five Bolt Shots. Yeah, I guess this is how I do it. All right, so we need a roll. Why are the dice so big, Alex? Did you do this? <laughs> Seven. Oh, not flip. There we go. Eight. No, don't delete those. <laughs> it's back. It's back. 
There's one right here. There you go. No, 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 that's the big one. She doesn't like, she wants the smaller. He wants okay. the smaller. So, wait, who's it's going first? Sick. Sorry. Um. I think I'll go first. That was like a question mark at the end. You're playing angels, so I think I should go first. It all depends on what type of angel decks it made, to be honest. Isn't there like two angels in the game or something? No, it's more so the style of how the angels come attacking. Mm -hmm. Whether they teleport to you or whether they, they, they walk up to you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Makes Ooh, sense, makes I can switch sense. myself to DM. Yes. Oh yes, no, don't look at my cards. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> I see both cards. <laughs> oh no. How's it look? <laughs> All right, you start. Oh no! You got this. Don't worry. You got this. Don't forget movement step for movement phase first. Is that a thing? You don't have to move. I guess. I, I guess I'll, I'll, move, I'll move here <laughs> and go hide in a corner. Just gonna. Throw some shit on the board. Alright, don't forget we're streaming. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> throw some stuff on the board. Yeah. I'm also gonna throw this thing on the board. There's a lot of stuff on the board. Mm hmm. That's a lot of stuff. Mm hmm. And then I'll. Eat this sea crate since we're, wait, and draw since a card. We're, since we're training you to play properly, how about you pay your costs one at a time as you play each card going forward this match? <laughs> oh no. Imagine playing properly. Yeah, no, it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, yeah, that's 15. 4. And 12 is 16. Ah, you may continue and eat your you can eat your snack. Okay. Cool. Um Nom 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 nom. Let's go forward like one. Chicken. And do I wanna go forward? Hmm. Depends on how many death companions you want down on you. Hmm. And we'll play an angel. Will you now? What does Nubia do? She has visions. Oh, you draw extra cards. Yeah, and that's it for me. Mm -hmm. Next round. Okay. Mhm. Mm Shiny. Hello. Hey, Sean. Yeah, I really wish I could have been. Oh my god, this is bad luck. I really wanted to make today's the town hall. Town hall? But, yeah, super wanted to make it, but then, uh, internet comped out this morning, it's back now. I don't know, my modem was just for a couple of hours, it wasn't going to do anything, but I was able to make four times. Mm. <laughs> and we just left it off for an hour. Um, yeah. So I missed Pardon? I guess if it's okay to talk. Uh, did I miss anything big at the town hall, or if was, it's okay to talk about it here, like in yeah, the stream? Yeah. Uh, I was just getting feedback from people on like the champions, what we can do for design space, some um, limitations and strengths of what we're doing currently. Uh, it was just a lot of feedback. I'll be posting up the link so you can listen to it later. Yeah, uh, I think we both the thing 
that we were talking about you mostly was uh, the if then else clause. I think we've made that better as a group. We talked about that a lot. Yeah, I, I yeah, it was. It's just it needed a just like a, a codified language i think for it that's that's all like yeah. p- putting the full stop makes it a bit confusing like the, the period there so yeah mm-hmm. all right Darren, yeah, yeah. yeah nothing big it was just... yeah all right what, what yeah. Your that's... I was, I... did you pay your cost i had a, I had a question Oh, okay. cut me out so it didn't let me ask the question. So your the range attack that you have there, does that is it a target or is it everything? It is target. Yeah. So it is since it is range, it is able to hit aerial. Okay, and that's the only thing that is different. Okay, because same with you. Words are not. Is the voice yeah. terrible for you guys? For yeah, different? yeah, it's super scratchy. Yes. Yeah. Very very scratchy. Oh. I don't know. Damn. How about a Discord and read drop back in? Okay. I'll be back. Cool. Um, yeah, it's... I mean, I'll put up the um, recording from the town hall, and people can listen to it. And uh, one thing I totally forgot oh. is that... Hey, voice is much better now. Okay. Um... For Zoom, you can actually call in using like voice minutes, uh, and there's actually like a phone number you dial into, and then you just put in the code, and you'll join by voice. So you don't have to use like the app. Or oh, anything like that. yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be good for the future, for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. One thing I did want to ask today in the town hall, and uh, I was actually considering typing it up because uh, it's. But, you know, just because, again, not trying to jump in, yeah, like, to just couch the question, I guess, is not me disagreeing with uh, stuff you said, but just asking for information. Because um, mm-hmm. uh, you are mentioning how Genesis, like, removal is a dangerous, can get dangerous for it. And um, basically, so from my perspective, I, I played, obviously, a ton of Magic, and I'm thinking back to where... Wizards had standard being basically the worst. It's almost the worst it's ever been in terms of a functional format that's just not fun to play. Um, rather, like their broken formats are broken, but they had a functional format uh, that wasn't hold on fun one to second. play, and that was sure. because they decided to. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I just want to make sure we're progressing in the game as well. Um, so you're all fully started out there, there. Yeah, it looks like okay. core went. Summon two death companions. Uh, then at the end of your turn, I'm gonna play a Chrono Walker. I just, I gotta do this. It's just. Yep. That's okay. It's a lot. Punish Darren until he learns. Yeah. So, uh, this is and the then body. <laughs> I'll swap with it. And then I'm gonna go with Nubia and go for. Um, yeah, I think I'll move. I can't move twice. But I can go there. And just play bolt shot, and hit all of them for four. <laughs> it just it needed to happen. So, a uh, general rule of thumb is if you have a lot of creatures. Don't play them all at once. Space them out throughout the game, and uh, definitely don't stack them on the same spot. <laughs> That's uh, it's gonna put you in a rough position. Um, and then those guys can move twice, but that's fine. Uh, I'll just end my turn there. All right. Uh, all right, Sean, you were saying uh, about removal. Yeah, so basically Magic got to a point where they wanted people to feel that they could play whatever fun stuff they wanted to play. Mm-hmm. So oh, no, they nerfed removal right now, to basically being incredibly expensive. Like, four mana was the best removal in the game, and as opposed to the normal two mana removal. So they doubled the cost of mana uh, for removal, Is I guess the way is a translation. Okay. And 
Um, it basically, what this did was, instead of what they thought was diversifying the format, because, uh, you know, like, removal was bad, so you could play whatever you want, what it ended up being is the format completely homogenized, because it just narrowed on to, well, if it's just I'm playing my threat, you're playing your threat, well, I want to play the best threats. So then the format became two threat decks plus one combo deck, then the combo deck got banned, and the format became just two threat decks. Like, it just completely homogenized into just two decks. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess my question is, is, like, why, like... Uh, so obviously you don't want to lean too far into removal for Genesis, but like, what makes you think that you know? I guess that, that this problem couldn't pop up in Genesis too, um, just like you know, like where if removal is doesn't exist in a in a global form, that like people wouldn't just like eventually like as a player pool gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you have more competitive tournaments. So this kind of weighs out, but like that that homogenization danger doesn't won't pop up as well. Um, so, it's not that I don't think that that will happen, uh, and I'm not, I try to stay as modest as possible being like, you know, we will make mistakes, things will go wrong, uh, and we did see that even in competitive, uh, in the circuit, the championship, where a lot of the decks were the Nubia, uh, Nubia one form or another, and Alex can attest to that, like, Nubia's always been about half of meta, uh, and then, then we start seeing some like uh, deviations. Uh, the thing is, uh, it's not that I don't think we should have removal. It's that it's really, really difficult to figure out what the formula behind it should be. Uh, and part of that is uh, there the fair trade off, and also summons are very vulnerable. In the exception of one summon, which is the Angel of Retribution. All other summons are very, very fragile in Genesis compared to Magic. In Magic, if you want to k kill a particular creature, either you need to wait for it to attack, or you need to put enough aggression on your opponent that you force them to defend. Uh, but in Genesis, if you want to kill off a particular creature, you just hunt it down and you kill it. Uh, so, the... Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Uh, the playstyle in the game is very different. And because even if we look at something like Chrono Walker, for example, I just moved it, so that's why it's on my mind. Uh, for the longest time, Chrono Walker was seen as insanely powerful because um, it, because of how decoy and everything worked. And then for a little while, it fell out of fa uh, favor because it's um it just died a lot of the times the moment it hit the table, and six health was not enough. Uh, even something like Primordial Force, which has eight health, it dies really, really quickly. Um, and so, it's the way creatures are treated in Genesis is kind of a mix between Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. Where in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can just target the creature you want to kill, uh, and then here you kind of get a mix. If you play well, you can keep your creatures alive for a long time. If you don't play well, your creatures are just going to die the moment they hit the table. Um, and so. Oh yeah, I, I totally get that. Like, uh, I hadn't played Genesis for a while, and then I started playing Limited with Reed, actually. Yeah. And I was just like, I'm just relearning all the little, like, like no, what? It's like, you no, know, like, you, you move a creature, and then, like, the moment you move it, you're like, why did I do that? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, even, I don't know if you're, all that if you're yeah. watching the game we're playing right now, but I think uh, Darren just experienced for the first time the pains of dropping all the desk companions on the exact same spot. I just came up bolt shotted them all. And it's like, yeah, if you, yeah. <laughs> it, you need to find a good balance with your creatures because they are a huge investment. And then there's the other side of it. Creatures are investments, a much different investment in Genesis than they are in magic In magic. If you pay two mana for two, two and your opponent terrors it or dark banishes it or whatever, or lightning bolted, you're like, all right, I lost my creature, but I still have my two lands. Now, if every creature you played said you play this creature and you sacrifice the proportionate amount of lands, like all the lands you tap for it, you sacrifice, that's a whole other game. Mm -hmm. And now uh, those creatures you really don't want to die because now you've invested so much into them. So someone like Malik, when he plays 15 aura for Brook, it means really something very, very different than Erica paying 15 aura for Brook. Ooh, Necrolich, nice play. Um, so, 
uh, for that reason, it becomes uh, the strategies and the depths of uh, how it works is very different. It's the big thing that I want to express a lot, especially to people like you who constantly challenge us. I welcome the challenge. I welcome the opportunity to talk about these things. But I also want to address the fact that we are still learning the strengths and weaknesses of this game. So when I say something's not going to happen, it's that as of right now, I do not think as designers, we can make a balanced version of that card. If we were to make something like Dark Vanishing in Genesis, either it would be terrible and no one would ever use it, or it'd be broken and everyone would use it. I don't know how to hit that middle ground with that card just yet. So I'll, I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a spin on it. I, I think it, it'll be it'll be terrible, and it won't be terrible for the reason it'll be terrible <laughs> for the reason that it won't be good versus mid range decks. The mm. Necrolich's deck, when you come in to go kill one of the two summons they got, that's when it's terrible. But then you have the balancing act is versus the Angel of Retribution deck. That's when it's great. Yeah, it's it's one of those cards yeah, that's good that, in certain matchups. Yeah, no, that but that that's great. I mean, like yeah. that, like that's for me, that's perfect. That's exactly I mean, I'm what you pro, want. I'm pro so, removal, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I can totally understand wanting to take the time to like figure out and get it right. I mean, uh, I mean, don't know how much we're talking about future league, but like uh, some of the alterations that were just uh, posted like in the last couple of days. Like that, those are kind of pseudo remote removal stuff, and like it's uh, a really interesting way to do it. Um, yeah. I, I'm I'm very hyped on alterations. I, I think there's like a ton of design space for them. I'd love to see like strong alterations with like one HP that it, mm. that are like hard to protect, but like you know like have like game defining. Um, like it, it's like yeah, like you you make your opponent go hey like. You got to deal with this. I mean, oh my gosh, there's so much you can do with alterations. You, yeah, you can have alterations that like tick down. Like it, it's like a bomb that's gonna go off. Like not not doesn't have to be with a, like an area effect damage, but End just like run. like this is a thing. Like if I can protect it for long enough, then bam bam, something awesome is gonna happen. Like it, just, it starts with counters, and then you remove counters or whatever. Like oh, there's so much cool space. I feel for alterations. Uh, that mm -hmm. yeah, I'd love to see like removal ones. Uh, just ones which are like impact the pace of play. It's like it's like oh yeah, you thought you had it, but you know like if I can survive now for like three turns, then you know this is gonna be a very different battlefield. So <laughs> yeah. So and that's the yeah, just just for your, sorry? Darren. Uh, for Darren as a side note, um, when you go to a tournament play, it is probably better to just concede rather than show your opponent that you're playing this. Concede? Up to this point, uh, yeah, to just to just to give up to to not continue playing. Concede is to lose the game yeah, yeah. rather than show your opponent that you're playing counter magic. Because because you know at this point mm. the resources and the board control you're you're not making it back. <laughs> yeah, this is just advantage. That's play. actually very. I oh never yeah, thought I, of that. I've definitely done that. So oh, no, they, yeah, I've definitely yeah. On that, yeah, or just like you know you've lost, but you just continue playing because like it'll take them a couple turns to win, and they might have to yeah. commit a little bit, but you know you've lost, so you just like don't commit much or play things that they know you have copies of, so that you can see more of the deck. Yeah, <laughs> or mill them. That's always a one. Like you're yeah. you're about to die, so you just play a milk like a incidental mill card that, and just like yeah, well, let's see what's in your deck. Let's get a bit more information. You're not going to concede like to, yeah. for maybe for seeing the deck. You've got the game locked up. This is um, more for advice for the tournament play, yeah. not not for here. This is casual play, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the other thing you, you said that's um, very much on point, which is our interpretation of things that are from other games um, are going to be different. So when we talked about removal, and you said, pointed out the new ones like Entrapment and London Fog as uh, removal, it's just... Uh, we need to find things that fit well in Genesis and work within the scope of what Genesis does. Uh, so we may not have traditional removers as like a straight out kill target summon. We may, we may not, but there's other realms mm. to explore. So um, yeah, alteration based removal, I think, is an awesome space because uh, instead of just like 
yeah, it's dead, it's done. Now you pose a question. It's like, okay, you can get your thing back. You're gonna have to invest some time, some resources, some attacks mm -hmm. to do it, and maybe I'll I'll spend the time to develop my board and say, like, what are you gonna yeah. do? And like those questions, and then seeing what the answers are that come from your opponent. That that's great game. Game, I think. Yeah, I think there was a game I played on Friday. I had to. It had to have been against you, Alex. Where I did something to hold you back for just one round, which gave me enough time to come in close. Yeah, this is the game where I was chasing you down with Nubia, and I just couldn't finish you off, and I decked out. Yeah, like that's the thing of like a cool use uh, of alterations nice. to slowing your opponent down. Uh, anything else there, or are you exerting core there? I think that's it. I, right. I don't. I don't know what's happening. Hard to... <laughs> yeah. Without talking. Uh, but as a, as a side note, Kabus will kill Kabus. Shahan, you should just say, Sid, why don't you make a kill spell spell for future league? Yeah, and then I could just do it and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, and, um, the, the, the and then I'll attack you for three. Here. I mean, that's that's the space to do it. I mean, you exactly. can even be like, this is not for the next set. And this is just like, you for what, what does this do? Like, how does this? Yeah. Oh, what we, is well, this we ruin? talked about that in the, <laughs> in, in the town hall. Uh, one of the questions and asked was the back. stuff we're working on is it for the next set. And Sid said, no, some of the, the stuff we're looking at is for the next set to up to four sets from now in Future League. It's all over the place. Yeah. That was the mm -hmm. point of Future League is shifting it away from just testing the next set and moving it towards testing um, anything. Uh, every Hard idea that... Yeah. There's a lot of things. Like, I want to eventually start testing the concept of equipment. I want to start testing the idea of stances, which I've talked to Alex about. And these are things that may not even appear in this world. Uh, they're just ideas that I've had. Mm. I'd love to see uh, just going like going forward. And I know it's early and, like, like as in, it's, we're still really early in Genesis's, like evolution as a game like mm -hmm. even or even just like setting up but i'd love to see more mechanical themes uh in sets I, like if you i guess we're two sets in so like you know uh, whatever I'll but yeah i'd love to see before it dies uh, uh, so you gain nothing oh <laughs> well you gain three you lose three, you gain you three. Gain three. <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> technically um, yeah, so mechanical themes, I mean, we tried that with uh, Raze, it fell a little shy, and we realized as designers, we're not at that point yet. Um, as, because yeah, well, was I, the, I guess I didn't pick up on Raze. Um, uh, when you mean mechanical themes, do you mean something like how, uh, like Desperation and uh, Pacify? Or do you mean something like, um, like, what do you mean exactly? I mean, I guess like uh stuff that can be uh like a thread that uh like players can latch on to so like i mean the i guess broad strokes you could be like this is the plane of alterations and we're really gonna uh or oh. like this is a set of alterations and we're really gonna lean into alterations or like yeah stuff like stuff like that um like it doesn't have to be as broad strokes as entire card types um mm. but um Funny world bunny world right <laughs> yeah um yeah so <laughs> bunny world or or powering up like maybe like you push uh like uh i guess maybe skill or technique is in the right i don't know are there like there isn't like a skill or technique that you can play on summons right uh they're always on yeah and uh, okay, there is one in, there up. was one yeah, in future skills. league there was one in future league before okay yeah in future league but yeah, I'm trying to think of cards I printed. Yeah, skills is, I guess, the word I'm looking for. But yeah, yeah, maybe you do a, a set where you can put skills on, a, or like there's like a new type of skill that goes on your summons. Um, but yeah, you know, like you know, like stuff like that. Like you, you go in a certain direction. Um, I mean, they do, I, and then you can also do like uh, flavor themes as well. Yeah, just just something to to latch onto. Um, it, no, I'm not uh, generic is the wrong word. Uh, but like, um, like yeah, there's, the set so far, yeah, yeah, generic feels a bad word to say because generic has like bad connotations. But it's like, uh, it felt it feels like meat and potatoes, I guess. Like it, yeah. Uh, it feels like the like the it, we're still developing the core, which is fine. Like we're too realistically, we're like two sets in, right? So. <laughs>
Um, and that's a big thing about what Jay Lara is supposed to be. It is supposed to be developing the core. It is supposed to be um, figuring yeah. out a lot of the nuances with the game. Because there's a lot of things I didn't know until we started publishing things. Like um, how weird bounce back is in the game. How weird uh, spot removal is in the game. How there's so many other minute things that don't translate from uh, Magic into Genesis. And that was a big learning experience for me. Uh, and then the other thing was, um, yeah, uh, uh, and then when you look at what the storyline is, like you're talking about these thematic worlds, uh, power-ups, and all this kind of stuff, um, what is the storyline for Jailara? Well, it is the birth of the human race on our world. Uh, it is people uh, migrating from Mesopotamia to Egypt to India to China like the world is still so young technology is still so young um, so it's a lot of just survival of the fittest it's there's these arenas where people are battling to death and it's just you know let's just battle <laughs> let's just fight to the death um, and so even the mm -hmm. storyline and the theme is very primitive uh, and very young all right Darren I think that's the checkmate yeah I also <laughs> concede <laughs> checkmate did you want to try again, Darren? Do you want to make some sideboard changes? I'm going to sub in for this game because he's, he's having hard focusing and focusing on the game with the chatting. Oh, I'm sorry. And, oh, it's, sorry. You can, I'm sorry you, can, well. you can also see how I pilot it because for the for a match. Yeah, yeah. It's good to have that reference. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. You don't want to take lead, Alex? Also, Alex, you have to take, turn off your um, DM. That's true. That's totally okay, unfair. Yeah, see. Uh, one <laughs> second, just a phone call. <laughs> that would be so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big brain play, that's what it is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think a big portion is right now we're still just learning. And. Uh, I don't want to get overly ambitious. I don't want to think that we know, especially since Genesis, in a lot of ways, is also breaking into a new stream of gaming. It's not purely a collectible card game. It's also not purely a war game. Uh, it's kind of, seconds. Okay, cool. Uh, it's kind of in that middle space, and for that reason, like, there's a lot to learn about how we just design things. Um, like. I never realized how good, uh, just it's in my hand, so uh, how good dedicated studies would be in this game compared to other games. So uh, it's still just. Oh, yeah, that, that's the draw to discard to, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And like in a normal yeah. game. No, uh, we, yeah, we, we for that's on that too, yeah. Okay, so I'm going first. I'm going to go to the side. I'm going to dedicate. Um, because like when the game first came out, people hated dedicated studies. Like with a burning passion, it was absurd. I'm gonna mm. discard a dedicated yeah, studies. Yeah, well, I mean, and... card, it's card disadvantage. Yeah. How do you how do you win? It's card disadvantage. <laughs> but uh, it, no, it's interesting that Transformers <laughs> TCG, if you saw any of that, had a similar like player development point. I think that is where um, like because they used for their resource system the um, just like action. Uh, action points kind of type deal. So, like, mm -hmm. you can play uh, one one uh, sorcery and one equipment per turn, and you can flip one transformer. So it's like that. That, that is what you can do. So, like, uh, in terms of drawing cards, like drawing the first extra card, yeah, that's great. Drawing a second extra extra card, yeah, that feels pretty good as well. But like, draw three, draw four, draw five. Next Eventually, round. it's just yeah, like I mean, round. like. I'm playing one of these a turn, so like, like draw. If I drew fifty cards, like I'm still only playing one a turn, so like it, it really doesn't matter. And Genesis has a little bit of its own flavor, but uh, a bit more player agency, I'd say, in that lore system. Mm. Uh, so, Darren, uh, one of the advice I would give: so core playing him as a summoner is much different than like if you're playing newbie or anything like that. He's got a lot more health, so you don't want him hiding on the back line. You you pretty much get him out front. Yeah, yeah. The other thing is, like, champions who are summoners with a lot of health, I like absorbing damage for the first little while. Like, let my summons rest. 
Um, I don't know how core it's going to play, but when I play long, I, I'm a-okay when my opponent's like, and I'm going to hit you for eight. I'm like, sure, go for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> angel's going to... Oh, I hate moving the angel too early. I'm just going to end my turn with Nubia there. Did you sideboard? I did not sideboard. Okay. okay. Which I just... I have some good stuff in the sideboard versus you, I just realized. Yeah, I feel like you would have at least selective amnesia. <laughs> Alright, throw that in there. Yeah. Gotta step up. Going to Elim again. Yeah, you got it. Okay. That's a companion. That's a companion. Uh, that's a companion. Uh, I put it. I put it back here. Because if he ever brings the angel up to attack, then I get to counterattack. If I put it up front, it's extremely vulnerable. It's still vulnerable here. I can see he can Chrono Walker, double move, bolt shot them both. Yeah. Yeah. But this is just the safest of all the, all the potential spots. <laughs> I guess here isn't too bad. Because your angel kind of body blocks, it's, blocks you. I guess Chrono Walker... Then I got tsunamis to deal with as well. Yeah. No, I think so this I think is your best. Uh, this would have been your number two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Continuing. Um, <laughs> uh, hands not great. Hands not great. Uh, secret. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys here because my internet connection is degrading. Like I can no longer watch the stream; it's frozen. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna head out. And also, you guys can focus on the game better that way. But yeah, thanks I'm, for talking. I'm, as always, I'm Mobius. This. Woo. Oh, Next I round. realize there's some uh, chats coming in. Uh, oh, ZW. That's uh, Steven? Yeah. Zany Wizard. Yeah. That's how he always beats me. My problem with Dedicated Study when I first started playing seemed great, except I kept running out of cards in hand for some reason. Yeah, like that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize is that it is um, net negative in your hand size. But a big thing about this deck is you're running bad cards. Like a big thing about this game is that you're running bad cards. So that's where um, Dedicated Studies is amazing is that if you got cards that are so situational that you just don't need them for the game, just dedicate them away. Oh, this is interesting. It's a bit premature, but yeah, let's go with Angel over here. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. Did you, yeah. we, did you draw? I did yeah, draw. I drew, I drew. Um... Uh, just general general rule versus any Axon deck. You need to separate your summons as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> just because the tsunamis. Always. And even I'm even here. Tsunamis. Even here, there there's if if he was somehow to able to get here, he could get both of my alims. Yep. <laughs> but then I'd be right in front of you, which exposes me to a whole other world of pain. What? No, that's safe. That's a safe spot. <laughs> Just staying there, eh? Hmm. Need to do something, but I don't know what. I'm gonna move this LM. Tsunamis. <laughs> Tsunamis, yeah. Um, this death companion is gonna go one, two. Nice, okay. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go to core. I assume another Nine. death companion's coming out. <laughs> death companion over here. Purely because you said this death companion. I'm like, oh, so there has to be a second one somewhere. Uh, another secret. Of course, I made the deck, sort of. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, of course, there's going to be at least 12 death companions in hand. Yeah, always. At all times. Mm-hmm. Let's Five draw one. Oh, now I can drop one. Am I happy with this? Am I happy with this? I could have played that. Yeah. I'm going to... Summon a Cabis. Discarding a Vatus Sphinx. That's fair. Gonna play a Necrolich. Bring him back a Vatus Sphinx. Shiny. Uh, and then I'm going nice. to eat the Sea Crate. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not getting the cards I want, I'll be honest. Alright, next round. I have the board, but it could go away fast. Quite fast. Tsunamis, bro. Tsunamis for days! Oh, I just want. And Good. is it Bellum too? Uh, so, so Bellum, you the, the when you see Bellum, you're gonna worry about bolt shot. When you see Axon, you're gonna worry about tsunamis. Yep. And when you see both, you just have to run. So well, when you see bo both, then you worry about angels. <laughs> yeah, then you worry about angels. <laughs> true. True. Because they're not going to specify that they have angels in their deck when they start playing. Yeah, that's true. But if you're playing against Nubia, you have a pretty good bet that you're playing against angels. Unless you're playing against Alex, then it could be angels or tsunamis. Or both. Or uh, both. Dedicated <laughs> studies. Uh, ooh. The Spirit of Steve deck is both. Mm -hmm. I think it's in the corner. <laughs> There's the pre-made uh, decks. Championship decks. No. Is it? Yeah, I'm going to discard a Mind Reading and discard a Wind Slash. Um... Uh, you, what do you think, Darren? What are my what, do you, what are my odds? I'm gonna drop a Dwaj in there. I've played those in a deck. Yeah, they're great cards. Twenty nine cards remaining. I played with the other Jins. But his Sphinx hits for three, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just bolt them. Yeah, he'll respond by attacking for three. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three. Nicolin. Bye. And that's it for me. This guy's going to attack for three. Yep, you got it. Attack for three. Yep, down to fourteen. Has Sid hit you? No. Nope. Doesn't matter who gets the first hit in, it matters who gets the last hit in. It's true. Care if I lose the cabis? Not really, I don't think. Oh, that's true, too. Um, attacking you for two. We're going in. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, Some I'm taking two. Down to 12. Alex, tsunamis. 
So Tsunami right now, I will lose a Cabis and this. If he turns to the right, I lose these two. He's not likely to turn this way because he hit his own angel. Yeah. Um, I mean, and around, I'm going to play Chrono Walker? Yeah, that's, this is the stuff that I was worried about. <laughs> Alright. Next round? Right. Next round. Alright. And I think, yeah, okay. Things are gonna start dying. Um, let's go there. Let's play dedicated studies. Okay, discard a gin, discard a wind slash, play a tsunami. Uh, response, I will attack for three. In response, I'll attack for three. Oh wait, you're attacking me for three? Yeah, you for three. Uh. Yeah, then I won't attack you for the three. That's fine. Okay. I'm down to nine. At this point, my my me, me thinking, Darren is he's down to nine. Maybe I can kill him. That's it. Maybe I can kill him. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. It's a very strong uh... thought. Um. <laughs> And then let's drop a second angel. Hmm. Sure. Let's weaken the second one. Uh, so this one's down to have one. In your hand. Yeah. Um. Let's go here. Interesting. And wipe that out. So remember how I said I was pr my original goal was to aggro him. I, it changed all the, quickly. Very quickly. My quick. plans immediately changed. Uh, attack this for to do. When you get a chance to eat an angel, you're gonna eat an angel. Um. Mm -hmm. Attack you eat for three. The angel. Sure. Yeah, because now he can go over here and Mobius this angel. Um, I took three from a tsunami. What's wrong with this angel? That's not an angel. That's a Chrono Walker. That's, not that's a Chrono Walker. Oh, that can die. A this cab is. He also died of this. He died of lots of stuff. Um, turn. I'm gonna give myself another death stand by here. Ten, twelve. Uh, we're going to backwards army. Discard a cabis. <laughs> that. Uh, You're facing the wrong. <laughs> but it's all in the name of the angel. Yeah, yeah, and then I will eat the angel. Great, and then this that's companion up here? Uh, I think it's got to go here. Cool. Next round? Next round. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's my first Mobius of an angel. Not a common 19, thing. 15 or remaining.
15 ore remaining and two cards in hand? Two cards in hand. Alright. Uh, swing at you for three. Yeah, I will take it. Here we go. Just gonna take that out. Alright. Swing at you for the six. Oh, I don't like that. Take the six. Oh, boy. You're backwards now. What are you going to do? See, I want to run, but this doesn't get me any further. Attack for five. Chrono Walker? Yep. Swap here. I'm starting to see something. The angels can't be beat. <laughs> <laughs> they can. They're just really, really hard. Yeah. But if Alex can't do it, nobody can. I didn't say I couldn't do it. Tsunami? But so remember when we were deck building, I asked questions like, what do you want your deck to do? Your goal was never to beat angels. Yeah, you said your goal was to defeat the attack face. That takes you down to seven. Yep. Uh, another tsunami. And went and told Sid to play yep. his angel deck. Yep. And then bolt shot. He got me. Like the cards that I was hoping to pull, that I just never pulled were like an Oten. <laughs> angel hit. Yeah, we have yeah, uh, yeah. Oten that would have changed things a lot. A cog restrict. I was hoping for at least one cog restrict yeah. to mess with you, and I just couldn't pull one. Yeah, uh, I didn't think about the Oten, but in this position, you were very, very exposed. Like one, your back yeah. was to me, so you couldn't even cog restrict. But you're at a 15 or to begin with, so yeah. you couldn't even do that. Uh, and then the way I was looking at it was even if you decide to run you had a creature here I could wind slash at the end of your turn do the chrono walker come in and do the same thing yeah, again that's why I, figured. I was like I may have blocked myself off here I should have yeah. maybe summoned them here and then I would have had this space to run this way yeah if you place it back there then I guess chrono walker would have came in from your side but uh, the key was like I was looking at your health and I was like how do I hit him for 19 this round and I realized wait a second if I just ignore like, all his summons and just throw my creatures at you <laughs> eventually you'll just die mm -hmm. yeah good job but now you'd face a sideboard <laughs> what time is it mm -hmm. I should probably start making dinner though that's the only issue all right let's show you, let's show you the sideboard yep. then yep those are key three four five all right, and that help tsunamis. <laughs> and tsunamis. Yeah, that makes a big enough difference. <laughs> that makes a huge difference. <laughs> so this is how I deal with the angels. Yeah. Obviously, so the, our main door deck isn't built to deal with angels. Like the best we can do is trade with a desk companion and Mobius them. That is that is your, yeah. your best you can do with it, and that's hard to do. You need to continue to balance positioning until it's off yeah. off position. Uh, as a summoner deck, I generally like to go second. I think, oh, Darren. Uh, mm -hmm. But you, yeah. I was saying, as a summoner deck, you generally want to go second, unless you are facing a Thymos champion. Mm. Thymos? Yes, red champion. Yeah. Why? Because they have the Land stun slide. effect. <laughs> Landslide, various other ones, which are only realistically good if they go first. So if they go first, exert all your stuff, you don't get a turn. So you need to go first before they get to do that stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The uh, the Nubia Angel is just... There wasn't a whole lot in Raze that buffed it, though. That was the one thing I looked at. No. Like, I think these are the only three cards from Raze. They're all in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, even the wind slash is debatable, but I just felt like just having that swift speed two damage was just so useful. Um, shut yeah, down. Sure. It's just you need some variety compared to just playing a bunch of pressure points. Mm -hmm. 
and Breath of Jailara, it's it's useful. I actually, now that I've played this, I would pull them. Um, the fair. angels are good enough on their own. I'd rather just focus on, um, like my whole thing is let's drop one or two angels uh, and put on some pressure, do as much damage as you can, and then eventually just end game kill them with tsunamis and bull shots. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Breath of Jailara is for something where you're sort of getting a lot of value out of it. Yeah. Like you need the multi summon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be curious to see how the uh, with the raise decks coming in, how the tournament will go. But I'm excited. We're gonna do a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to dinner. But Alex, I want to touch point with you later. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone who watched. Uh, and I don't know. The tournament's gonna be fun. We'll do a lot of live streaming then. Uh, that'd be good. But yeah. Alright.